What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Shouldn't talk about Scream 6 mostly in this video today. We'll be talking primarily about the Gale Weathers chase sequence that has had some new tidbits of footage teased in this new TV spot that's been identified over on YouTube. I'll leave a link to it in the description. I first saw it on Twitter yesterday. It was being shared all around before the unlisted Paramount link was found in HD quality. So I will leave that in the description. But before I get to that and share my thoughts on that, I will touch on this new bit of information that Radio Silence has put out in defense of some of the controversy that's surrounding these what many people find to be radical changes to Ghostface in Scream 6. So this is from the SFX magazine where Matt Benelli Open and Tyler Gillette have made their comments about Ghostface in Scream 6, the use of the shotgun, and just going in a little bit deeper about the the uh, tension they're trying to go for in Scream 6. So Benelli Open said, we don't want it to be safe. We don't want it to be born. We want it to be fun and to raise eyebrows. Uh, this is in response to, of course, in relation to people feeling concerned about Ghostface using a shotgun and probably some other aspects surrounding Scream 6. So they went on to say, when we heard Ghostface in New York and he has a shotgun, it was like, what? The two feelings of what are we doing and we have to do it are often intrinsic intrinsically tied. And that was a perfect example of that. There are a ton of a fun, wonderful, classic Ghostface moments, but it's not the Pratt falling Ghostface, Tyler Gillette went on to say. We love that, but we, but for this to be scary and to achieve a level of visceral tension, we wanted to put the character more in the real world. If Ghostface is trying to get through a door, it's going to happen. There's no giving up. When he's in pursuit, the pursuit doesn't end until he's achieved his goal. Now, I like the way they are talking about Ghostface, and it makes me very excited to see how Ghostface actually might be portrayed a little differently in this movie as opposed to what we may have seen in the past when we go back and rewatch it over the years because we know that in the past Ghostface has been portrayed a little clumsy but it doesn't look like we're going to get a lot of that clumsiness in this movie now in relation to the shotgun the shotgun at first when it was a leaked image with a lot of missing context was believed to be something going on where Ghostface would just randomly show up with a shotgun and chase them throughout New York trying to shoot them and ultimately chases them into a bodega and uses the shotgun on somebody in said bodega now, of course, what many other fans like myself were thinking is that that's not what's going to happen. What's going to happen is Ghostface is going to chase them into the bodega with the classic buck knife. Somebody will try to pop off on him. He will get the upper hand, take the shotgun, and then that shotgun will be used for that brief sequence in the bodega and that's exactly what it looks like is going to happen because there's nothing else within the trailer or any of the tv spots we have seen where ghostface is you using this shotgun i personally don't see an issue with the shotgun i think what the dilemma was was that a lot of people were like we've never seen ghostface in costume with a shotgun so it might have come off a little bit awkward to those individuals but i'm really excited to see this iteration of ghostface and how determined Ghostface will be uh, and if that really ties into anything with their identity as much as it just has to do with portraying Ghostface differently given the fact that we know in the past even though Ghostface was portrayed as being clumsy the people behind the mask were indeed very serious individuals <laughs> so getting into Gale Weathers this thing you see here on your screen this is from the tv spot that has surfaced on Paramount's uh, YouTube page it's unlisted still but it was just like a video mostly going over how to survive mostly from some of the cast members with snippets of new footage and one of the things that we got to saw was an extension sort of of gail's chasing now it looks like she's being chased on a balcony throwing over a throwing over a what is this a a pot of flowers or something a, a, some type of gardening thing she has on her balcony i'm gonna assume so she's in she's in ghostface is in pursuit of her and it looks like she's in for the chase of her life that could rival what many people are hoping what we got from gail weathers courtney cox in scream 2 now a lot of people with every new bit of footage that comes out thinks that gail weathers will not make it out of this now what order will this go down in i'm thinking that of course gail will be at home on her laptop working on whatever it is she's working on maybe let's say she's working on this book that she's writing for dewey and she gets this phone call from who i would say is maybe like a guard for her um a, a, an officer who's just acting as a guard for her at her apartment since there's a new killing spree and maybe because she's a high profile figure in new york they're trying to protect her so a phone call comes to the house and the person guarding her household or her apartment tells her the phones for her 
they get the phone or Gail gets the phone from them and it's Ghostface. Ghostface is talking to Gail. Ghostface, of course, gets berated by Gail, who says that he's like the 10th person to try this and it never works out for the guy in the mask and yada, yada, yada. Then, unbeknownst to her, the person is already in their apartment or somebody's already in their apartment and the guy who was there to guard Gail is taken out, thrown through the furniture in her apartment and then that's when the chase ensues and... She's either going to struggle to get away from Ghostface and ultimately that leads to her running through the balcony and then she runs into her bedroom with the gun or the bedroom sequence could happen first. Ghostface breaks into her bedroom. It's very intense. It's a very, like like they described it, visceral chase sequence that ultimately leads to the balcony where Gail Weathers could potentially die. Now, if she dies, then she just dies. I'm just hoping that prior to her death, you do something that is very useful of the character in her sixth outing. And given that she's the only legacy star left in this series thus far, um, the only legacy star now to appear in all six movies straight, all six movies straight, which is a big achievement for this character. Uh, I think that if you are going to kill her, you should have hopefully something in line with what she's been doing over the past five movies even though in the fifth one i would say she was like the most lackluster use of her it wasn't it wasn't completely terrible it was just the most underwhelming usage compared to the other four times we saw her so hopefully in six this is a little bit more on par with those first four movies and then if she dies it won't feel like oh you killed her and you didn't even use her correctly but of course she could always make it out of this alive however given the circumstances of what we've been seeing from her chase scene I see why a lot of people find it hard to believe that Gail Weathers will make it out of a, make it out of this situation alive. It seems like an impossible situation to survive. However, she made it out of Scream 2 alive. She made it out of all the other Screams alive. I'm sure she has some tricks up her sleeve. And it seems as though I would argue that they're purposely making this look like a a really significant death situation for her because she's going to survive and how she survives and the fact that she survives is what's really going to shock us but again she ultimately could be dying i just don't think that they will be teasing it and putting it putting it that heavily in front of us with these tv spots uh as much as they might be trying to hype up the chase scenes uh gail's fate i don't think would be that blatantly told to us through these tv spots let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video